Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be making a no need bread. It is super simple, super delicious, and so accessible for anyone at home. I cannot recommend it enough. And it's also super crunchy. Like that, that crunchy. Now, guys, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, do feel free to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot of the channel here. Now, before we jump in, guys, let's give you a quick little bit of B-roll. with that beautiful b-roll out of the way we're gonna perfectly pour ourselves three cups of flour not spilling a single drop anywhere at all okay no one saw that oh, or that all right well whatever two cups of flour and then get another cup after this for a total of three cups so you're gonna grab yourself a nice big bowl so that you're gonna add your three cups of flour in a slow dramatic pour for reasons i don't really know yet but that's what we'll do so that you're gonna add yourself about a teaspoon of salt you can add a little bit more a little bit less depending on what you want but about a about a teaspoon of salt here so with the salt added you're gonna grab yourself a cup of warm water and to that you're gonna add one tablespoon of yeast in this case i am using active yeast uh, you can use whatever you want once you've added that you're gonna give that a quick stir once stirred you're gonna then let it sit for about 10 minutes until it looks frothy it should look something well like this now, if for some reason you notice that your yeast mixture has not bloomed, meaning there's no foam, uh, you'll have to start again. So with our yeast bloomed, we're gonna grab our bowl of dry ingredients and then we're gonna slowly and majestically, of course, pour our yeast mixture in there and then incorporate it all together with our rubber spatula. Now, because it's a no need dough, guys, you're just gonna wanna stir this kind of gently. You don't need to do anything other than just incorporate it all, um, but this should be a relatively wet dough, meaning, don't add extra flour unless you absolutely have to, but be prepared to add extra water. So you're gonna keep mixing it until it kind of comes together like a ball. Again, this should be a very sticky ball of dough. Uh, and so by the end, it should look something like this, just a big ball of shaggy dough. Once your dough has reached that perfect state, you're gonna quickly just cover that with plastic wrap. Uh, and guys, don't try to use something else. Do use plastic wrap because the whole idea here is you're keeping the moisture and the air in. So the plastic wrap on there nice and tight, you are good to leave this out on the counter somewhere, normal room temperature for about 12 hours. So the next day you should have something that looks like this. Notice how big and puffy it is. We haven't kneaded it, we haven't done anything. And now we're just gonna get in there and mix it. Now the stickiness of this dough, as you can see, is actually a good sign. This is the gluten that's formed for us. It's really important to have this. You should have something that's quite sticky. Um, perhaps if it's a bit too much, feel free to add a little bit of extra flour, which we'll be doing anyways, as you can see here. And we're doing this simply, guys, because we need to be able to just fold this over a few times with our hands. Now, notice, guys, that I'm not pushing down on the dough. I'm actually just lifting it and turning it over just to get it covered. And then I'll fold it a couple times over here, pushing down just to make sure that it's kind of incorporated all that flour. Once you're happy with the consistency, you're literally just going to leave this to the side while we prepare our cast iron pot. Your cast iron pot should have been in the oven heating up at 425 degrees. So you're going to want to pull that out remove the lid and of course gently and carefully drop your soon-to-be loaf of bread in there parchment paper included then going to pop the lid back on and put it back in the oven for 30 minutes so after 30 minutes you're going to remove your loaf of bread from the oven uh, once you remove the lid you'll notice all the steam this is good but the bread looks under baked that's because it needs some color so to do that we're going to remove the parchment paper and the loaf of bread before then putting the bread back in there well uncovered this time with no parchment paper and goes back into the oven for another 30 minutes so after 30 minutes uncovered in the oven guys you should have something that looks like this and sounds like this
All right, so there you have it, guys. A great, simple recipe for bread that you can make at home. It's super delicious. It's so crunchy. It lasts for a few days. And the best part is you have to do almost no work. You literally just leave it on the counter overnight and then bake it for an hour. Couldn't be easier. Couldn't be a better bread to start with. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thumbs if you liked it. Subs if you loved it. We will see you in the next one.